Hey, welcome to the Underground Treehouse. I'm Big Kenny and it's guy show time. Uh, men, we pride ourselves on different things, especially when it comes to women. We pride ourselves on our strength, on our prowess and on our virility with women. Uh, and for some guys, um, if you know, you know, you pride yourself on your size. Now, for the guys who pride themselves on their size, I want you to know that uh, there'll come a time when you have to realize in life that no matter how big you are, you just won't be big enough for some women. I learned this when uh, my friend uh, Child's Play dad got beat up by Big Woogie. Now, we called him Child's Play because his name was Chucky. I think it was Charles, but they called him Chucky. His dad was Big Chuck, and he eventually grew into uh, Lil Chuck. But uh, when the movie Child's Play came out, we just started calling him Child's Play because everybody called him Chucky. And his dad was one of those men's men. He worked down at the plant. He always had a little short cigar in the corner of his mouth, voice deep like James Earl Jones. Yeah, yeah, that Chucky, y'all get your asses, ah, right, Chucky. You know, that kind of thing. He was a real man's man. And next door lived a lady we called Big Woogie. She had to be about 350, 400 pounds. She was a real sweet lady. And in the summertime, she would just sit on the porch and watch us play. And fan herself. So uh, one day we outside, we're playing with uh, Child's Play's uh, official Rawlings NFL football. And um, we're playing with it and it goes over uh, Big Woogie's fence. And being the sweet lady she was, she got up and, <sighs> you know, hobbled down the stairs and <sighs> bent over and picked it up and threw it back across the fence. Now, this entertained Chucky. So Throughout the day, about four more times, he made sure the ball went over the fence. And about three of those times, she came and got it. About the fourth time, she was like, look, I ain't getting up, get this ball no more. You need to get on away from my yard. And so Child's Play ran home and told Big Chuck, Big Chuck must not have been having his best day because he came down to get some straightening. And when he got to her house, she had like this little waist high uh, fence. If, if you were an adult, it was about waist high up to your chest, maybe. And he came to the fence like, look here. I forget what her name was. Look here, Miss Dada. You need to give my boy his official role in NFL ball. I paid too much money for that ball. You need to give it here. And she, well, you need to tell your boy to keep his ball out my yard. And so she's coming over to the fence to hand him the ball. And he steady jaw jerking. And she said some slick. And I guess it upset him because Two things that I had never seen happen at that time. First thing that happened that I had never seen before is I seen a man punch a woman with his closed fist. I had never seen that before. And Big Chuck hauled off and punched uh, Big Woogie in her face. And she just absorbed it. And the second thing I saw that I had never seen before was Big Chuck look afraid. She reached out and she grabbed him across that fence. And she pulled him up on that fence and grabbed him with her other arm. He screamed, oh, Lord. And they started tussling and her weight made her fall over on him and broke the fence. And he got trapped between the ground, the fence and her. And he go start whispering. Ah, well, yeah, yeah. These children don't need to be saying that. Yeah, you need to. This ain't necessary. And she said, you right, it ain't necessary. But we gonna see one more thing. And like she was climbing up a mountain. She grabbed the top of the little fence because she was too big to get herself up off the ground. And she slid up to where she was about chest level with his face. And she punched him in the face until Child's Play screamed, Miss Woogie, you gonna kill my daddy! And I don't know if she stopped because of the horror in his voice or it was the first time we had heard somebody call her Woogie out loud. But she got up and she... <clears throat> got off that man and walked in the house and stayed for about three days. I don't know if she was embarrassed. I don't know if she was still upset or if she was just trying to catch her breath. But Big Chuck figured out on that day that he wasn't always going to be the biggest. And as big as he was, he wasn't going to be big enough for some people. And his voice actually did get a little bit lighter from that point forward.